right, this is super novel. My first fat bike race. I had an incredible time last week learning the ropes from JP DeBerry and surviving the impossible route West Yellowstone. But uh, to race on the fat bike, completely different. Uh, this is East Coast snow. We have about uh, eight inches of snow here at Canadian Valley State Park, site of this uh, Fat Tire 50K. No real expectations. It is a bike race, and I'm a bike racer by trade, so hoping that without any mistakes, I can you know apply some of the lessons and put in a good solid race. But uh, you know, very different ball game. All right, here we go. We're at the Canadian Fat Tire 50K. Fresh off impossible routes, West Yellowstone. It's 32 degrees here in Canadian Valley, 3,500 feet, but like so warm and not even wearing gloves. <laughs> it's kind of like the comparison to um, you know, West Yellowstone. We got about a foot of snow uh, kind of drifting a little deeper, blowing a little shallower in places, uh, but the course should be fast compared to last week. Probably like an eight, nine mile an hour average for the 50K. I'm gonna go get registered. Um, feeling optimistic about this one. You know, I think when we look at uh, how much preparation really helps, no matter what you're doing, but especially if you're doing something new for the first time, then um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. Again, it's uh, really cool. Kind of reminds me of the good old days back when I used to come up here for the West Virginia Point Series races. Yeah. Kind of grassroots bike racing. I love it. I was kind of thinking this whole fat bike thing is pretty fun. Um, maybe it's a distraction. Maybe some people think it's stupid, but I think it's really neat because you have this like reason to look forward to colder temperatures. Just remember on here. You know, you kind of are looking forward to some snow as opposed to loathing it. You're embracing winter and all the glory of the conditions and seasons that we have. Task here. Get my number plate here. And there's nothing like slipping and sliding and playing in the snow. It's like being like a kid, right? So there's the rig. Canyon dude. Got some, some little wear areas and dirt on it from last week's action, but uh, uh, surfaces. So I'm probably gonna go up in pressure a little bit here. Got the old tire gauge. Let's see what we got. I mean, tire gauge is probably the most important thing to bring for a fat bike. 6.8 PSI. There we go. We're probably going to go up to about 8 because uh, it's going to be pretty hard and fast for the most part. Not like West Yellowstone where you have to float. And it's pretty crazy, huh? It's so funny when you've got like all this stuff on. You can't even see who your competition is. Uh, so I'm going to put the hydration pack underneath of my jacket uh, so I can take some stuff off. Jay, I'm pretty pumped. This is going to be super fun. Going through the winter wonderland, bridges, uh, big swales and snow drifts. And gosh, I don't know what's out there, but I'm excited. Partly because I don't know what's going to be out there. That's, uh, I think, what's neat about a completely new ball game. So really looking forward to this one. It's going to be super fun. What's your name? Zach. Nice to meet you, Zach. You too, buddy. So is this your first fat bike race? No, well, I've done... Uh... I've done these. Cool. And only these though. Yeah, yeah. I know in Michigan it's a big thing, but here we're right on the edge. Here, uh, we're right on the edge of the south. So you get over that mountain over that way where I live, there's no snow. Brown grass, maybe the mountaintops might have a little sprinkle, but not this beautiful, puffy, white, drifting stuff. This is awesome. <laughs> not your first fat bike race. What's this one like? Oh, uh, this one's fun. I've done this one, uh... Uh, several times 50k is the longest they've had it so i was gonna say it's 50k i mean yeah. west yellowstone 50k by the way would take you about five hours yeah. That's but the here conditions are good yeah the conditions i think are really good though yep i think it's kind of a thinner snow we got like maybe five or six inches packed down i think it's going to be a a fast and fun fun course uh so what yeah, thing ah uh, you'll probably be three hours all right all right if i like if it's packed the way i think it is. i, I it like roll. an optimist it should roll tire 50k with trail labs 
Uh, so Joe's gonna show us the course. Oh man, look at this. Look at this toy. Look at this toy. I need one of those. I, I don't need one of those. So the course here today. A little bit of promised land trail. Mm -hmm. A little bit of rail grade. Some middle ridge. Kind of loops all around the park and uses utilizes just about everything we have here at about nine and a half mile loop. Awesome. Um, nice we can see the greater mass. area is a mountain bike paradise. Uh, really just a beautiful, amazing area. Whole area, Thomas, Davis, Canaan, uh, Valley State Park and uh, Timberline area, Dolly Sods. It's just a awesome place to ride. Yeah, it's been a couple years, so it's so good to be back. All right, I better get to the start line. Right back. Riding on a moon rover. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, 8 psi is slow on the road, buddy. It is slow on the road. All right. You are officially on the YouTube. That'll be $5, please. Left side. All right, here we go. I just, I just got a little, uh, a little bonus. Uh, woo, uh, oh my god! Oh my god! This is awesome. Oh, this is work. Uh, uh, I got a crash because you start. Hurts. A lot. Wow. Our second place so far so, so good. Huh? I kind of forgot. Racing uh, is way harder than just riding along, but it'll settle in to a good pace here. Man, this is like a highway. If you get a chance to race on a groomed fat bike course, you have to do it. I mean, it's like a, a silk road. Oh yeah, here comes the fire. Fun part. Get to hit some downhills. Woo! Woo! Yo! Holy crap, this is so fun. Hot. Real. Oh, this is incredible, but I'm sweating my ass off and I gotta take some clothes off at the pullover while I'm second place and uh, take off some gear. Hopefully I'll see you guys in a minute. 
Whew. Gotta make this quick. Ah! So yeah, here's a good thing. Oh my gosh, so hot, so hot. Uh, likely problem, you might say, but we'll do it now. Later. I'm gonna have my work cut out for me here. I got like three hours to catch up, right? Probably gonna get cold Not now. Good. I have to put it back on. Yeah, just putting putting some gear away. Ah, man, pop. ah come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. Probably going again. Yeah, I know, I know. Someone's gonna comment on my smart wool underwear. Don't be a smart Alec. It's all I had. I forgot my tights. Oh. But it's all good. You good, you good. Okay, back on it. I'm in like 20th place. Time to make some tracks. Ow! Okay, full gas. Let's go. Okay. Hang on. Turn to get some moves. Go on. Turn your left. Thank you. Still some pretty good rocks in the course. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Appreciate it. It's like I'm hooking up, so I can really reel it down. He'll make up time. No, sir. About 10k in. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> oh my god! See a water hazard. I just didn't expect to see that many people pass me. Nice work, nice work. Yeah. Keep it up. What are you don't anticipate is to go past you have to go offline. It's very hard. Okay, get in there. Do not stop across town. The gaps are bigger than you look. 
Let's bail out. Hey. Ooh. Hey, Jack. On your left. Thank you, sir. Be a lot more fun once I can see the front. Oh, so beautiful. Ah, I like that rear wheel slide, baby. It's all about that rear wheel slide. Right. Oh boy. Oh, these water traps are, are crazy. I'm like, if you get water, mud on your stuff, it doesn't work right because it refreezes. Right by squeeze by. All right, have a good one. Oh. I've been putting it down and I can see the lead too. Just up ahead, about an hour in, 30 degrees. Heart rate, just under 170. And this is fun, really fun. I think I got out of my way to race the fat bike, race again, 100%. I mean, this is sick. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, it's like turning a motorcycle. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ah, this is amazing. <laughs> yep, I'm hooked. Oh, boy. Whoa, 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 A lot of obstacles that were not in play at West Yellowstone. Rocks, ice, and mud. But I guess this is East Coast fat biking. A little different. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Okay. Look at this single track stuff, man. Let me tell you what. So I think I just lost about half of what I made up. Ah, there they are. Oh, it's so fun, so fun. Woohoo! Oh, I was so loose, so loose. It's so fun. I was wondering why these things came with a dropper post, but now I get it. Let's see if I can show you this. Show you this magic a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Most way through lap one. I just got up to the guys and then I slid out in the corner and crashed. But it's all good. You can see him right there, and after last weekend, I'm no topping, but the diesel is there. Fortunately, it's good and stay strong. So, third place right now, lap one. All right, let's go. Just found out I'm actually in fourth, not in third. So. Uh, a little, a little slickery. Uh, here's where the drifts come into play. All these different tactics. I should have stayed in the track. It's my uh, little workout out for me. Yeah, I slid out and uh, went down that crash. There's a little funny little dip, but part of the game, right? Let's go. Oh, it's a long lap. 
Yeah, a lot of grooming. Nice work, Appalachian dirt. Now, to send down to the finish, I've caught second place. Oh, that's some work. Temperature's warming up, so it's getting a, a bit slower and stickier. Let's go. Let's just say that much. I just put about 20 years of high-level cross-country racing into the into the chase here, and I uh, still can't see him. Now, lap two, 11k in. I am one minute back from the leader. My guy's on the run. I'm trying to pull myself up to catch him. Just uh, engine room's doing good though. I can hold this pace. Another two laps. 165 heart rate. Temperature's right around freezing though, so it's getting slow. Okay, gotta track him down. If you make one little mistake, you lose like 30 seconds. So it's really nuanced. It's like rally car racing. If I don't make any mistakes, I'll make contact here. First quarter of lap two. Oh, it's getting hot out. I know it's the funniest thing ever. Like these pogies have vents in them, which is pretty good. I'm not even wearing gloves. Crazy, huh? <sighs> Sketchiest part of the course coming up here. It's our water hazard. It's ice. Ah, oh, semi frozen. It's got these G outs. Gotta lift the front wheel or you crash. Oh, oh, oh. Hup. for a second here and then drink and eat. Whew. Well, that was an effort. He's efficient though. Me, I'm pedaling every downhill. Kind of a waste.
Bye, bye, squeeze by. Yeah, man. Thanks. On the way. Nice work. Shut up, you too. I'm absolutely pinned. So going really hard, but also not getting a gap. But remember, there's a really steep downhill. So my plan was to drop this downhill super fast, see if I could pin this corner nice and clean, come out in the perfect gear. This is a classic cross country style feature of the course. And it suited me really well. And that was the wedge I needed to turn turbos on. And Try to get a gap. Making my move. Short steep climb, he made a mistake. Let's go. I came to get this part. Buffer in case I have a crash. Or Actually, crashing. The most likely, of course. Slick out here. There he is, Jack. Always good to learn from your competitors. We have behind me, most race downhill or like flat track motorcycles or something. He's pretty good. He line, slick. He starts to slide because it's deeper and fluffier. Stay right in the middle. The best traction. They got to mind the speed. There's one top speed. There we go, baby. Oh yeah. Up right, up hill, trip down. for a snack so our guys can catch us when we bonk oh yeah it's getting loose it's like flat track mud racing oh so cool though probably one of the most fun downhills right here one lap to go, one lap to go. Oh. Cross country mountain bike race. I guess this is like a lot like cross country. The track looks wide, but 
there's only like six good inches on it and you got to find it seven k to go can't see him try to stay hydrated and push really hard to get a little gap here Conditions are going downhill. A few degrees makes a huge difference. Oh, oh. Yeah, look at that. That should be frozen. Okay, come on. See if I can make it up the wall up here. Get 45 seconds back there. Mm. Got about only six k to go. I think I got this. Just no dumb mistakes. So pretty stoked. Last downhill. No stupid stuff. Okay, we don't want you to hop. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh yeah! <laughs> oh, so fun. Oh, I kind of wish it was not over, but also last over. And clean. No. Yikes. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That last beautiful 200 meters. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> Woo! Oh my brakes. No brakes. No brakes. No brakes. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you had the pokies on, you can't squeeze on the outside. So, almost just crashed right there. Super funny. Woo! You did it! Oh, that was so hard. Nice. Ah. Uh, all right, that was awesome. I won the race. Bike was awesome. <laughs> and I wonder how Tyler's doing. All right, so just finished up cleaning that 50K. That was gnarly. I uh, learned a lot. If you get offline, you will crash. If you stop to take off clothes, you will get dropped. <laughs> hey, nice work, dude. Yeah, you too, man. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was yeah. fun, man. That was super fun. Yeah. I mean, slipping and sliding. Yeah. So you race flat track motorcycles or dirt bikes or- oh, motocross. Oh, I knew it. I yeah. knew it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. 10 years of moto. On. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. It's awesome. What do you race? 125A. 250B. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was like pushing and pushing. Uh, beautiful race. Learned a lot. And Canadian Fact 50K. Definitely will be back. For sure. Nice work. I was, uh, that was absolutely a hoot. I can't wait to download the GoPro footage because that was out of control. Uh, closing thought. I would definitely do that again. Absolutely incredible. Super fun. I just wish we had a little more snow in Virginia, but I guess I can come up to West Virginia and getting at least a few weeks of this good stuff.